Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new episode of Tribal States. Guys, if you missed the last episode, we did some major base progressions. We built up a turret along with some of the outer wall. We finished off the dock area or the pathway just outside the city. And we also added in roads within inside of the city. So we've got a rough idea of how it's going to look. But now, today guys, I want to turn my attention to somewhere else. And that somewhere else is this side of the docks, right over here. We have absolutely nothing here, and it just kind of ends, and I don't like that. I want there to be something here, and this is where I've decided we are going to put the mine. Yes, our mines are going to be right here. So do me a favor, folks. Leave the video a like. Hit subscribe, you can check out my social media and my other channels, these are linked down below. And without any further ado, let's get into the episode. So I want us to be able to actually access the mine from the docks, I think that'd be really, really cool. Because imagine, we'd be mining, we'd be bringing the shipment on here, we'd be bringing it down, we'd probably put a ship somewhere, maybe there, to ship it out with. We could have a crane on the dock here, lowering it over the end there. There's lots of things that we can do if we put it on the dock. And that's kind of what I want to do. Now this is the level where I want it to be, I want this to be an actual building, uh, which means a couple of things, but mainly that uh, we need to bring the floor in level in here. Now, I want to keep the floor on the same level, I don't want to drop it down any, but I do need to sort of think about this over here, because this is, uh, how's this going to work? And I'm thinking we do something very similar to what we did over there. You know how we've got this sort of stone platform here? I think maybe we can do the same thing over here. Okay, so I've got a little bit of stone platform in place. It's, it's not brilliant, but we can take a little look at it from over here. You can see it just brings a little bit more shapes. Not as steep as that one, but that's fine because we actually want to build on this one. So the next thing that I kind of want to work on is how is this going to sort of function? So I've decided that for now, I'm just going to make the inside floor dirt. I figure it's going to be some sort of dirt, concrete, uh, not concrete, sorry, dirt, stone, something, or the other. But for right now, it's just going to be dirt. And then what I want to do is I want to figure out, like, we're going to have a way down and then we're going to have a way up. So one thing I want to feature very heavily in the interior is spruce wood. When I think of mines, I think of wood and I like that. So now we're going to look at what we've got going on here. This is going to be a staircase up. This is going to be a staircase down and into the mines. This is going to be a staircase up. Uh, but what are these? These are going to be the storage silos, so to speak. We're going to have shulker boxes where these chests are. Although, for right now, they're going to just be chests. And each of these chests is going to have a said item that we are likely to encounter while mining. I obviously can't put the sand uh, right there because it's a little, um, thingy. But uh, we'll have sand, we'll have sandstone. I want to put the block above the chest. Now, we need to obviously leave a gap. Because of, oh, we could put it behind the chest. Uh, I suppose we'll figure that more out when we uh, sort of figure it all out. But I need to sort of figure out just how much I'm going to run this storage system and how far around it's going to go. So now you get kind of a feel of how the inside is going to look. Now, obviously, one chest here is nowhere near enough. One chest is not going to store the amount of items that we're going to have coming in here. But what I just wanted is I wanted on the lower floor... You to be able to come here where these chests are. Imagine that we've got shulker boxes. I don't actually have enough shulker shelves to make them shulker boxes. But all of the chests will feed down into these. So I just need to put my shulker box here. My shulker box will fill up. And then I'll have the resource that I need. And I can just do this. And I want these to be auto sorted. And uh, looks like I've got one there that doesn't actually have anything in. There are a few of these that I don't have resources for. And I've done overfill just to make sure that there are extra. So... The next bit is for me to decide, what is that Bixby that you are saying? Uh, the Uber capsule is no longer available. I didn't ask anything about an Uber. I'm on camera, Bixby. I never asked about an Uber. Never said anything about Uber. That's, that's Bixby on my phone. Anyway, I need to get these taken up quite a bit more. And then we need to, well, actually, first things first, I guess I should work on the stairs so I know where the top is, because this is all going to be expended upwards. Now we've got a bit of a feel that's going on in here, and I do kind of like it. And I was going to give it a uh, sort of like an oak, if you will, or spruce floor, a wooden floor. Uh, but I'm thinking against that. This dirt has not worked out very well. I think it spread from 
here, maybe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I de definitely did not plant a grass block, but uh, grass has somehow spread. I always have this issue. I always have this issue. So you can see it's going to go up here, which is where it's going to merge with this front right here. And uh, there's a giant hole there. <laughs> and we're going to have a mine shaft going down here. This will go all the way down to bedrock the staircase. You can see just how wide the staircase is going to be in the end. And the idea is you'll come down here and there'll just be mines everywhere you look. And we're not going to do all of down here because there's a lot of digging out. Some of this is going to just take time between episodes and over the course of time. But we are going to get the vast majority of this functional. So I, I, I got sidetracked a bit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can see, starting to get the storage system a little bit more in place now. Uh, I went with this and I'm still not overly enthused about it. I think this is a good starting point up here. I want definitely up here to look a lot more professional. Because it's more higher up the docks. This is more likely where the product would be brought up here. Uh, maybe given out on the docks is probably where the workers would come in here. They'd go down and into the mines. This is where they'd be spending the vast majority of their time before heading back up. This also means a couple of things for us, law-wise. That uh, when we go through the gates here, this may very well just be a miner's entrance. You know, so over here we could have like a section of houses where the miners would live as opposed to having say shops over here we might want to put shops over here up there i don't know yet but it just gives me the idea that this is likely where the miners will be either way i'm working on the storage system here and this is where it starts to get really interesting because this is going to be a auto sorter this is going to automatically sort our items forward do you know i just i can't jump off this gate now mistakes had been made in that last clip folks and uh i had to rectify it we've added these two here now so this one goes into there this one goes straight down i just needed a block that i could place here because i need to place a redstone torch here so what we're going to do is we're going to set this up and i was talking about this has pros and cons the cons is you can't really make it modular i mean you can but there's a high chance that if a stack of items goes through here that it will mess up the system so by doing it this way you don't risk that. So, how do we do it? Well, first of all, we're going to look at this one right here. This is sand. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up a comparator. And this comparator heads out of this block. So, we can do two. Look, if we so desire. And then, on this comparator, we're going to put a hopper running into it. So, hopper running into the comparator. Now, the next bit of redstone that you're going to need is a repeater down here on this block here. You can see this thing here. So, one block across from the comparator and one block down. And they're facing into each other. So, the comparator is facing this way, the repeater that way. Next, you want to come down here and below the block that the comparator is on. So, we've got this block here. The block below it, you want a redstone torch on each. Now, this does have one side effect of the way that I've designed this, is it does lock this particular hopper. Right here, if we put an item in there, you see it doesn't actually go anywhere because the hopper is locked. But that's fine, that's fine. Don't worry about that right now. Uh, that will sort of sort itself out in a moment. Then, the next thing that we just need to do is take a redstone signal and pump it down here. You don't actually need this block here. I've just put this block here to make things a little bit easier for me when it comes to placing these. But that is pretty much the redstone. It's really easy and really simple. Now we need to look at the filter, and this is normally where you require an anvil. But uh, this design doesn't actually use anything other than fences. So long as you're not having fences go through your system, you can set this up to work with just signs. And you just fill in these four slots right here with signs. And then you want to put the item that you want in here. So we've got 56. Actually, uh, let's just do orange terracotta. So I'm going to put a stack of orange terracotta in here. And this is going to slowly drain down until there is just six left in here. So in theory, one, two, three, four, five, six. In theory, if I put this in here, we've sent a whole stack through here. And then we can have a look down at the bottom just to see how much is lossless. Now, because this locks this, it's not, in, it's not truly lossless because you don't actually lose the item. But I've got a feeling we're probably going to get one or two stuck in the hoppers here. That will have to work its way through the system in the end. And my assumption is, right, so out of the stack that we put in, we get 62 here. 
and two are stuck in the hoppers that are locked. Obviously, as we put more through there, then this is gonna, they're gonna work their way through. It's not truly lost, they're just in the system waiting for the redstone to be activated. And to be honest, if for every, every single thing that I put in here, we're only gonna have two that's not go through to this final chest, I'm completely okay with that. But now it comes to the, the task where I've got to repeat this redstone in every place except for these final ones here. The ones that don't actually have anything, any block designated for them, like up to here we have blocks designated, but these don't. I'm not going to do a filter system for it. I'm just going to leave it for overflow and ores and stuff. Because obviously the ores, I'm not going to do an individual chest for each ores. They can all just go into the same chest. I'm not too fussed about that. So yeah, let me get that done. Well, some progress has been made. I want to show you guys what we've done and the additions. So I've got three chests here simulating what it will actually be. My plan is we'll have a little platform that goes up some stairs to here. And we'll just be able to stick shulk boxes along this line. Maybe we'll even have a couple more hoppers facing into these in front of it. So we can stick down our shulk boxes when we come back from mining. The idea is we go down into the mines. We do some mining with our shulk boxes. We just dump them all in there. We bring them up, stick our shulk boxes on here. And then they sort of funnel through the system. Now, this is the first time I've ever done an automated system. So I'm kind of hoping that it all works. So I want to simulate this to see if it works. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to dig out a bit of the mine downstairs and whatnot. I think I'm going to try my best to dig out some more of this stairway. Um, and hopefully it all goes good. I'm thinking of making the stairs cobblestone. Uh, but I do like the idea of this this uh, this blackstone. It's just a lot of blackstone to go all the way down. Alrighty, back from the mining session. We've got a fair bit of deep slate here. Uh, some diamonds. And I'm going to just throw these all into the system. And hopefully they work their way through and end up in the proper locations. But uh, I've had to move my beacon a little bit closer. So I've got to go and dig that hole out and then I'll check back to see if they did indeed end up in where they're supposed to be. I've given them a little bit of time to work their way through the system and I'm fairly happy with it. It's uh, sorting them correctly. The only things that aren't being sorted is these rows here, but these are just for miscellaneous, you know, our ores and stuff like that. I'm more than happy for them to end up in this chest for now. Maybe we'll set up a different kind of filter for these. Have one for ores, one for mob drops. And one for just other th general things. I don't know. But for right now, this kind of all works perfectly fine. I'm really, really happy with it. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to start working on the actual building that's going to go around this. Now, there's going to be two different kinds of buildings. Uh, there's going to be one up here that's slightly higher than this one. And then one, obviously, down there. So this is where I want to start putting the sort of like roof and the walls in. But the first off, first quote... Blah, 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 blah. The first port of business is to open up the English dictionary and look up the W's where it says words and figure out what they are because apparently I've got no freaking clue what words are today. They're just all mumbo jumbo. And yes, like I said, I look redstone, redstone, <sighs> mumbo jumbo 2.0. Who knows how to make a sorting system because he looked up a guide online. Not like the actual guy who could build a rocket ship and figure out how to travel faster than the speed of light using just redstone? No, totally not. <laughs> oh, so I need to decide kind of like what this is going to be on the outside. And um, the more I'm thinking about it, I wouldn't mind using tough blocks um, in here. I think it'd be really nice. But then again, I'm also thinking maybe we keep this as a wooden structure. Uh, I'm not entirely certain. I definitely want to have some of the spruce wood on the outside, but I kind of like that. If we go and fly away and as it renders it, this looks really cool. And the bit that I actually want to see is not rendering in. But this, it doesn't look out of place being having some spruce wood there. It just, it doesn't. It kind of fits a bit more. Uh, but I do definitely want to keep it in the theme. So I think we're going to go with spruce wood, uh, spruce logs, and maybe the tough block. I don't know. First things first, though. Let me get some more of it put in. Quite a bit of tough later. It's a bit of toughy, that's for sure. But we've got the shape on the outside mostly in place. I need to just sort of rectify this a little bit here. But uh, as you can see, we've got the building in place. And I think that from a distance, it looks all right. Providing it loads, yeah, it has a little issue. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's going to be a bit higher up when we get up here. It's going to run into a much larger building. But for this, I kind of like it. Now I need to go ahead and get the spruce pillars on. I think having spruce pillars is going to be a very nice contrast. I've gone a little carried away. <laughs> I just realized the episode is like 15 minutes already. Or roundabout about there without any edits. So, uh, 
Am I going to be able to finish this whole thing in this episode? I don't think so. I think we are going to stick with just the internals down here, I think. Because I can probably get this done in this episode. And then I can work on this. Because that, that's a good thing. Because I have no idea how I want this to merge with this wall. So it's probably for the best that we don't actually do up here just yet. But yeah, let's take a little fly around. And you guys can have a bit of a look at what it's looking like. So let's go a little bit further out. And coming in here, you guys can see... It looks like a bit of a warehouse, which is the exact feel that I wanted to go for. And I've done a little bit on the entranceway here where we come into it from this side of the docks. If we pop down here, you guys can see we've got this nice little feature right here. I like this, how this is set into the wall and these, these spruce behind it. And I want to try and set this apart from the wall. I don't want to use the warped wood or the crimson wood. Uh, this is warped wood, isn't it? I don't want to use that or blues or greens in here because that symbolizes the walls, what we've got going on in the wall. And while it does still fit with the theme, I kind of wanted this to fit a little bit differently. And we'll still use some of the same block palette using the deep slate and the top as well as the basalt to keep it in line. So it still feels like it's part of the village while also feeling independent and individual. Now my next goal is to tackle the roof in here. Well, I've been hard at work at the interior, and we finally got a reasonable amount of it done. So, you can see a sneak peek there. We have the whole interior done. Now, I added in some cobblestone for two reasons. One, it just always reminds me of the old early game mines, you know. That we used to make back before they added deep slate and a lot of other cool stones. You'd always use cobblestone for your mine. So, I wanted to have a little bit of that in here so we didn't forget. Uh, I completely missed these parts right here, didn't I? I will get them put in in a minute, but you guys can take a little bit of a look around. You can see it's fairly easy. I've used these spruce trapdoors to hide what's behind them. This also allows me to simply put sand here and have it stay there without it being a floating block, which is really, really good. We've got some lanterns just hanging from the ceiling attached to some spruce fences and some chains. And it all looks kind of good. Now, I started to go down a little bit just so the mine felt a little bit more immersive. But I also started to go up just a little bit. But again, I'm not entirely certain what we're putting up here just yet or how it's going to merge with the dock. That'll come in a later video, but for right now I'm working on down here. So my next big task is to tackle the outside. Because right now we've just got these bland walls. And I kind of want to really change that. I want to keep it simple because it's just mine. It wouldn't be all that fancy. But I also want to have some real interesting things going on. Well, I've been busy at work as I usually have been. And I've got the outside done. If we fly away, you guys can see it. We've got some nice little cool windows on this side. And then on this side, I've gone fairly more simple than I have on this side. Can we, can we stick the landing? We can. So we've got the dark oak going around here. Some chains holding it up along with some lanterns. Whereas over here... We've just gone with a more simplistic look. Honestly, I tried a few things here and I just wasn't happy with anything. And the simplistic look is the one that I ended up liking the most. I thought it was just very nice and very simplistic. So, now we need to look at what's going to happen next. What's the next bit going to be? And I'm thinking of starting to work some on actually bringing out this cliff face kind of here. Because right now it's just this big... You know, nothingness. It's just a void. And I don't like that. That kills the immersion for me. So I want to get that brought into place. So I've got the early stages of the stone in. And given that I'm unsure exactly how this is going to progress, this is as far as I'm going to take the stone for now. It looks all nice, but I don't know exactly what's going to happen over this end yet. I haven't thought about that. So that's why that's still bare. So I'm not going to do any of the sort of texture variation or anything until I'm more decisive on what I want to do. There's a part of me that wants to put a crane somewhere, but uh, not entirely certain on that one just yet. But I do want to show you one small change that I've made inside. Pongo. 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 Stop it. Nobody wants to hear you going nom 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 as you nice and gently clean your legs. Nobody wants to hear you. Okay? Okay, boy? Okay, everybody wants to hear you because you're lovely and adorable. But... I went ahead and I put these barrels up here and I deliberately made some of them face different just so it breaks up the sort of like the repetitiveness of it. But the realization hit me that we are probably going to fill up some of these chests like this one incredibly quickly. So I do want to have a barrel up here where I can put 
full shulker boxes. So I can just come here and grab them out, or I can just stick a shulker box there. Either way, I do kind of like it. And I did also, by the way, fill in these gaps right here. And the windows, I didn't actually talk about this. Uh, the windows can be opened or shot. So that's what I like about it. If I've got a couple open and a couple shot, I think it looks really, really good like that. If you take a look from the outside, you can see it a little bit more. That some of them are open. And I like that. I like that. It keeps that, different, that variant. This, on the other hand, is a little bit different because those ones show the back end of the redstone. And if you haven't noticed, we've had to work quite uniquely uh, when it comes to the roofing. Because if we sneak up here, you guys, you can see that uh, the roof of the mine is not the same as the roof of the actual mine. You know, the, the indoor roof and the outdoor roof are two completely different roofs uh, because of the archway. And I didn't want to have the second roof going all the way back here over this redstone. So I kept it very much like it works. And I like that. Look, you can see it's just, just in here. And I like that. So, I'm going to now go to the end and get myself a, um, probably a stack of shulker shells. Uh, we have installed some data packs onto the server, the ones that allow shulkers to drop two shells per kill, along with a couple of other ones. So, I'm going to get into the end. I'm going to do that. I need to also repair up my tools. And I'll be back with you. I finally got all of the shulker boxes. We could dye these, I suppose, but I don't think so, because I'm just going to be placing the shulker boxes here as and when I want the resources if I don't already have them in the barrel but it's good and never again am i going to get end raiding never again i'm tired of shulkers they drive me crazy oh, i need a shield when i go but for those wondering this is the loot that i managed to raid from a couple of the villagers i didn't go uh, massively into depth with the villagers but if i came across a chest i did indeed raid it and this is all of the gear i went to two other like two cities that actually had an end uh, a ship so we could get these and i did get an, uh, an all right sword here like this smite five one that's pretty cool uh, but, you know, apart from the, the boot, they're alright. But we didn't get any, like, really cool gear. Uh, I suppose that one's actually pretty good. I didn't notice that one. That must have been the one that I hit last. So with the night approaching, guys, that's all I've got for this episode. If you've enjoyed the video, do me a favor, leave it a like and hit subscribe. You can also check me out on social media and my other channels. Those are linked down below. But as always, I'm Casey. You're the awesome folks. Thank you Living life right like I could just die any minute Going for a ride down